You should never throw away empty toothpaste tubes, but instead do these tricks with them. Because even if you can't get anything out of the toothpaste tube, there's still a lot in it. And that's exactly the amount you can use for the following tricks. Let's start with trick number one. You can use toothpaste in combination with a sanitary napkin for your feet. Grab a regular sanitary napkin and, of course, some toothpaste. If you don't have enough toothpaste left in a package, you can also use another package that has a lot more in it. Now put one strand of toothpaste in a bowl and add some baking soda. You can also get this from my shop. You can find the link to the shop in the video description below. I now add a small amount of baking soda to the toothpaste and mix the two together until a paste is formed. It should not be too solid, but also not too liquid. Now we can put this mixture on our sanitary napkin. Just put it on a sanitary napkin and spread it so that there is an even amount of it all over. Now we can go to our feet because the foot fits perfectly on the sanitary napkin. Now we put the foot on top of it, fold it over a little and put a sock over it. In this case the sock ensures that the toothpaste is kept on our foot and that we don't end up with any of it stuck to our sock. But what exactly does it do? You can use it to combat calluses on your feet. The feet becomes wonderfully soft and tender. Leave it on for 30 minutes and then rinse it off completely. Afterwards you can treat your feet with a foot cream and after a while you should notice that the calluses have reseed considerably and your feet are much softer. For trick number two we should not cut up the toothpaste wrapper but use it whole. First take the toothpaste wrapper and poke a few holes in it. You can do this with a stick or pointed tweezers. I now take these and poke holes all over the packaging until there are a good amount of holes in the packaging at the end. And then we can use it directly in the cistern of our toilet. To do this, open the lid of your cistern. Then grab the toothpaste packaging and place it here in the side of the cistern. This is because a small amount of toothpaste will always come out of the tube through the holes and this ensures a cleaning effect of the toilet and the cistern and of course also a very pleasant smell. This means that every time you flush, you will also ensure that the toilet is cleaned a little and smells much more pleasant. After a while, of course, you should remove the packaging and replace it with a new one. For trick number three, we use toothpaste on our car. You probably also know that your headlights are no longer so clear. That means you can't see through the glass as clearly as before. And that's exactly what toothpaste can help you with. However, you should clean the headlamp completely first. It's best to do this with a damp microfiber cloth. Because there should be no more residue on it, especially from flies. So that it is completely clean and dry at the end. And then we can put the toothpaste on another microfiber cloth and start rubbing the headlight so that there is some of the toothpaste everywhere. Now wipe until the toothpaste is completely removed. You will then see relatively quickly that you have a clear view again and can see better into your headlight. Afterwards it is best to wipe again with a damp cloth to make sure that all the toothpaste residue is removed from the headlamp and the headlamps will look much better again. And of course, this also means that the light comes into its own much better. So if your car's headlights are no longer so clear, this will give you a much clearer view. And for trick number 4, we'll stay with the car. Because you can even clean your rims with toothpaste. This works really well, especially with aluminum rims, as I'm going to show you here. My aluminum rims are already very dirty and the first step is to get them a little wet. So wet the rim completely with the garden hose. Then take a cloth and put a small amount of toothpaste on it. With this we can now go to the rim and wipe it completely. You will notice relatively quickly that even stop on brake dust can be removed. So I wipe my entire rim with the toothpaste here. Then I moisten the cloth so that I can remove all the toothpaste residue from my rim. And when I've done that I grab the garden hose again and spray the rim completely. This way I really remove the very last remnants of toothpaste and of course the dirt. And as you can see here the rim is now really shiny again and completely clean. And all thanks to a little toothpaste. Since we can clean wonderfully with toothpaste we can even use it on our tap. 
especially stainless steel surfaces can be cleaned wonderfully with toothpaste. Again, you should take a very small amount of toothpaste and spread it on your tap. And this also works if the tap is heavily calcified or completely dirty. So after I put some of it on my tap, I grab a microfiber cloth again and I'll spread all the toothpaste on my entire tap. So that in the end, there is some of it everywhere. Let it soak in for 10 minutes before wetting the cloth and wiping it over the entire tap again. Of course, we want to remove all the toothpaste residue from the tap. And then you will see relatively quickly that the tap now shines much better than before. And all thanks to a little toothpaste. Finally, of course, you should wipe it dry again and then you can see the final result for yourself. This brings us to trick number 6. Here we can apply toothpaste to a picture. But of course, we don't want to smear our picture with the toothpaste. We use an ingenious trick to hang pictures perfectly. Because often you know that you might hang the picture on the wall and choose a good place. But now you have to somehow balance where exactly you have to hammer in the nail so that you can hang the picture perfectly in the middle. And that's where toothpaste can help you. Because all you have to do is put a very small amount of toothpaste on the part where you hang the picture at the end. That means you only need a really small amount of toothpaste which you place right in the middle of this part. Now you can go back to the wall and see where you want to hang your picture. Carefully hold it very briefly in front of the wall and when you think you have found the perfect place, press it briefly against the wall. Now you can see from the toothpaste on the wall exactly where you need to drive the nail. So hammer the nail in here, wipe away the toothpaste and you can hang your picture perfectly and it will hang directly in the middle without you having to measure wildly where exactly you have to hammer in the nail now. This brings us to our last trick with toothpaste. Here we want to make a small cleaning cubes for the toilet and for this we need several ingredients. In the first step you need cola. Now you should tip a small amount of it into a container. I took about 100 ml of cola. Add to this a very good strand of toothpaste. Now mix the two together really well until the toothpaste has completely dissolved in the cola. This way we have a really good toothpaste cola mixture. And it really is a miracle cure when it comes to cleaning the toilet. Now grab an ice cube mold and pour the amount into this. That way you will always have the perfect size to clean the whole thing. Freeze the whole thing because that way you can take it out of the freezer every time and throw it straight into the toilet. Then you just have to wait for it to defrost and you can wipe the toilet with it. The combination of cola and toothpaste is really perfect for getting the toilet completely clean. And as a little extra, the toilet smells really fresh afterwards. Those were all the tricks with toothpaste that you should definitely try out. Write me in the comments which trick you found the best. Would you also like to know why you should put sugar in your washing machine? Then be sure to watch the video I'm linking to you here. You would make me really happy if you click the like button and subscribe to my channel.